Now, this model and related models support work that I and my colleagues are doing at a number of levels of education, all the way from early head start, infants and toddlers, preschool head start, grades K through 12, undergraduate education, graduate education, and beyond. Just a quick sample of some of the results. We're getting gains in achievement for all students. We are getting gains in achievement for, quote, minority students. <laughs> and we are demonstrating the student's acquisition and use of thinking skills. All right, one other illustration. For me, again, consider the idea of the thinking community. We talked about the thinking school. The thinking community. What's your definition of the thinking community? All right. Now, think about how the school supports the thinking community. And understand that as we face across the nation and our individual communities, this economic challenge, the community's capacity to process information, to think, to create new ideas, is critical. Here we have an image, a structure and related operational procedures for creating the, the thinking community toward the generativity solution, which are our models for processing information. And we have some material from Mr. Jackson if, for those who might be interested. And what are us, in a, in a simple sense, what we're saying here is that the community overall and its individual entities are challenged by the information of change. We have the capacity to develop the capacity, to, the strength to relate to this change overall for the community as well as for its individual entities and through an expanded capacity for change, each of the individual entities can generate new ideas, new responses to meet the challenge. And we see that the school, the thinking school, is a critical partner in supporting the overall capacity of processing information for the community, leading to community economic prosperity. This is the unit this is the unit by way by, that we use to go after the economic challenges we face. We've got to learn how to process information. We have the means to do that. It's exciting what can be possible. I'm almost done. <laughs> Just a brief sample of, of results. For example, in an African-American community with unemployed individuals, we were able to bring about 100% job placement. 50% of the participants went on to receive college degrees, among some of our findings. Ah, oh, what did I do? All right. The qualitative nature in terms of their career advancement. Oh, no. There we go. One, member, one person became a member of the board of directors of a Fortune 500 firm. We had folks writing to high levels of administration within federal government, local, uh, excuse me, in terms of uh, institutions of higher education, and graduates of prestigious universities. To conclude, the direction that I am advocating here comes from recognizing the relationship between effectiveness on the one hand and issues or problems related to background differences on the other. And recognizing, that, recognizing that relationship, it's incumbent upon all of us, African Americans, all Americans, in particular leadership, in particular African American leadership, to recognize the importance to examine assumptions about effectiveness 
One way I demonstrate it for you is in terms of operationally defining the concepts, the constructs we seek to address in servicing our children and communities. What we need to understand is that as we approach effective, effectiveness that way, we generate new ingredients that are a direction for emergent, emergence inclo, includes new ingredients. Currently, right now, as we look at the crisis we face in terms of education and support of the community, we need new ingredients. And the generativity paradigm that I briefly overviewed for you is an example of the new ingredients we need. As we come to search out and implement these new ingredients, we expand our capacity to take full benefit of the extraordinary opportunity, the extraordinary environment we find ourselves in right now. And with that, we can move ahead as a nation into the 21st century, servicing African Americans, service, servicing all of Americans. Thank you very much.